Hello and welcome, this is Rufamonger. So the Shang Tsung combat cast has concluded and we have learned quite a bit about the character. And I gotta say first and foremost, hey, he looks really cool. I gotta say, uh, this definitely looks like it's gonna be a very, very fun character. And uh, first and foremost, before we get into the character specific details, when it comes to the costuming and the looks, yes, you can be old man Shang Tsung. You don't have to just be a young man Shang Tsung. And also, you can also be movie Shang Tsung, not just the face. I'm talking like the leather trench coat, all that kind of stuff. So if you want the current look, if you want the old classic look, or if you want the movie look with the trench coat, hey, you can do it. Now moving on to some of the gameplay stuff we learned about the character. First up, let's talk about the forward throw. So you might look at the forward throw and notice here, it doesn't do the normal amount of damage. Normally throws do 140, right? That does 100, not 140, so what's up? So. What happens is Shang Tsung actually heals himself with his basic forward throw, unlike anyone else, right? So he will do less damage with his basic forward throw than everyone else, but he will heal himself a small percentage every time he does it. Now moving forward, uh, we also see his back throw. This was in the trailer, if you didn't see that. So this is his back throw. Works as normal, so nothing fancy there. Now this guy right here, this is one of his main attack strings right here. And as you can see, it's three hits. And one big thing about this is the third hit is plus on block. To make up for this, you can attack him out of it, just like, say, Liu Kang. Uh, just so you know, the second hit here, the low, well, I'm assuming it's low, could well, not be low, but anyways, uh, it is special cancelable, so if you get the first two hit confirmed, you can absolutely go into whatever special and potentially into a full combo depending on your loadout. But yeah, so that's advantage on block, so the big guessing game is going to be basically, is he going to finish it or not? I have to assume the second hit's safe, otherwise you just always attack him out of it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's going to be one of his most important strings, and by quite a bit. This string you're seeing here is another follow-up to it. Uh, basically, it looks like it's able to catch people hitting buttons trying to stop the plus version. Also, on whiff punish or on uh, punish, you know, that general thing, it is a crushing blow as well. As you can see right here. So, that's basically going to be a good whiff punish tool. Once again, that string has a very far-ranging starter, as you can see there. I do believe it's back too, but yeah, it's uh, definitely one of his main strings, and he has multiple options from it. As far as strings go, this is another string he has here. Uh, so I believe this is back one too, could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, this is a much faster startup meant for a much closer range. And you can probably hit confirm from the second hit into a special cancel. Now during the stream, they didn't even talk about this, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention this. Uh, so I don't know if this is jump one or jump two or jump down two or whatever, but he has a true cross up. Uh, true cross ups are very rare in Mortal Kombat. Uh, obviously they don't hit left, right, cause you can just hold the block button, right? Uh, but yeah, it does hit uh, very easily behind them. And that's uh, very difficult for some characters to deal with. That's why Garrus' body splash is so good. So for as far as jumping offense is concerned, this is a big feather in his hat. Keeping with the move train here, this silly old thing from NK versus DC, if you remember that. Uh, that's back. <laughs> uh, I guess it's a nice little callback, but uh, definitely not befitting of Proud Sorcerer like Shang Tsung. Now we see this move again. No real context was given to this move, uh, but I gotta assume just at the range it dumps you at, uh, this is definitely going to be a combo ender. So you can do whatever combo and just cancel out from there. Now all the, onto the skulls here. So the skull is a single shot fireball and the X is two shots. The triple skull is not a basic move. That is going to be variation specific and we'll cover that in a little bit here. But the basic fireball is a single skull, EX is two skulls. So triple skull, variation specific. Soul steal as well seems to be one of his base moves. So you can EX it and when you EX it, you will stay transformed as that character longer than usual. Now, the one thing they did go over here is the crushing blow situation. So, uh, crushing blows, as you might be aware, you can steal the enemy's crushing blows with Shang Tsung, right? And the one thing to note here is the uppercut crushing blow. If you use it as Shang Tsung or if you use it the enemy, that's a one and done. You will not get two uppercut crushing blows. So just get that out of your head. Now, while you can do uh, the enemy's crushing blows willy-nilly, they will do 50% of their regular damage. So keep in mind with the way the Soul Seal works, Shang Tsung effectively has more crushing blows than every other character in the game, and easily so, right? So with that in mind, when you do a crushing blow as the enemy character, you will do less damage with a crushing blow. Now, if you get like a big combo or whatever, hey, that combo is still gonna be fine, right? It's just the initial hit that'll do 50% less, but keep it in mind, and yeah, so, this is a very strong thing. Once again, EX it, you can stay longer and, you know, obviously uh, all the stuff that comes with it. Uh, but it seems to be a base move for the moveset, so you'll always have it. 
Now for some other moves, this is all new here. He's got a slide. Uh, so the slide does not look like it's a low. It's just, uh, you know, kind of, it looks like it's going to be a mid. But still, the fact that it has a slide and kind of a big forward advancing move like that is uh, definitely very handy. Uh, it's a great tool for anyone who has it. And for Shang Tsung, this will be awesome. Now, on top of that, we also got a brand new move as well here. We got the Corpse Drop. So this is an aimable projectile, so we can name it, you know, close, medium, far, all that kind of stuff. So that hit is indeed an overhead, as you see here. And if you EX it, the corpse will explode, and that is an overhead, and then into a low after the corpse explodes. So it is an overhead low, so you have to block overhead low really quickly. And that's pretty neat. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the corpse also explodes, has a bit of an AoE, so if you miss with the initial uh, initial corpse drop, you can still EX it and get a bit of an explosion and still catch them while they're moving. Another seemingly being special move is this guy here. Uh, it's a double comment or whatever you want to call it, fireball projectile downwards. So you get two hits regularly and the third hit will be uh, an EX and just smash them all the way back here and knock them down, right? And also has fairly severe pushback on block as well. So if you're looking to push the enemy back, as you see here, the pushback is quite severe. That is going to be an option. So in and of itself, it depends how negative it is, how useful it's going to be. Uh, I imagine the EX version has enough pushback that it's not really going to be a big of an issue. But still, uh, maybe chip pressure. Uh, I can't really see you wanting to add a lot of combos in that unless you're in a variation that has very poor combo structure, uh, but still it's something. So on to the ninja stuff. We all saw the ninjas in the trailer. You can turn into smoke, you can turn into ermac, you can turn into rain, turn into reptile, right? So these all appear to be variation specific moves. So the smoke one here, just like smoke in MK9, right? It's a projectile parry. So if you uh, do the shake and you uh, catch a projectile with it, you'll just teleport on top of the enemy's head and give him a big old bonk on the head. Now, if you EX the move, it will catch all normals as well. Uh, they didn't specify if uh, it'll lose the lows or not. Uh, I gotta imagine it does, uh, but that's uh, something to keep in mind. So it's a very strong tool in MK9, and it'll definitely be a very strong tool in this game to be sure. And if you can get two in a row, hey, it's a crushing blow for 370 damage, which is crazy. We also have turning in the rain and see around the world kick as we already knew about. So uh, if you EX it, you can then get a combo afterwards. Uh, the regular version will switch sides, but no combo potential afterwards. You can also hold it and cancel out of it. So that is an option. Now, this also has a crushing blow tied to it. And as if you cancel out of it, then immediately do it again and connects. And honestly, that's a bad crushing blow requirement. Uh, <laughs> maybe there's some sort of combo that can work into it. I don't know, but uh, that's what we got. We also have this, so this is a teleport which switches places with the enemy and does a little bit of damage to the enemy as well. Uh, it was not stated if this is blockable in any way, shape, or form, um, but uh, I gotta assume not considering just the low amount of damage and the amount of startup it has. Uh, it's certainly an oddball style move, but I could definitely see it being useful in some way. So the next variation we have here is one of the competitive variations we were told. So this variation is all about the fireballs, and it brings back the triple fireball. So as you can see here, uh, the first shot will be a single shot as normal. If you burn a bar, then you'll get a second shot and a third shot. So shots one and two are indeed highs, and shot number three is a mid, and there is a crushing blow attached to it as well. So if the first two hit hits, uh, they miss, and the third hit connects, then it'll be a crushing blow, very similar to, say, Sonya. And the ever-beloved ground fireballs are back, and that's uh, unique to this variation. Once again, this is one of the competitive variations. And yeah, it works basically like you think they do. Uh, so if you choose the E-Exit, you also get a launcher afterwards, and you get sort of combo potential afterwards. So this might be one of the more combo-heavy variations the character will have. So you can go into whatever hit confirm, into low fireballs, as you see right there, EX, and then get your follow-ups. So the damage is not going to be amazing, but considering it has so much, you know, full screen presence, such great normals, and eh, that's to be expected. But still, yeah, this is a very strong tool for combos and could be a very strong tool for pressure because once again, it hits from very awkward angles that characters te generally tend to struggle with as history has shown. The final variation we were shown, and I don't know if this is a competitive one, they only mention the previous one as being a competitive one, as for everything else, who knows, has Ermac and Ermac, he lifts you, you can spend bar, you combo out, it's basically what you expect, so nothing too uh, mind changing on that, also has Reptile, Reptile, 
replaces Shang Tsung's slide we mentioned earlier in the video. So that slide will be replaced by Reptile's slide. And also, if you hit for max range, it is a crushing blow. Now, this slide almost certainly is a true low, unlike the other slide we had earlier. So it's basically just going to be a strictly superior slide. Now, one of his most interesting moves, and by a lot, is this guy right here. So it is a static pillar. And if you touch it as the enemy, you will get smacked. And you can summon it behind the enemy or in front of them. And if you're choosing to willing to burn a bar, it will slowly travel towards the opponent. And even if you have it behind them, it'll travel towards them on the other way. So this could lead to so much pressure. Like, it's crazy. There's not too many moves like this in Mortal Kombat, like trap style moves. So I would very sincerely hope this isn't a competitive variation as this move looks really cool and the potential for just like skullduggery with this move is off the charts. And yeah, that's Shang Tsung. So he looks very cool. Honestly, I'm a really big fan of what I've seen so far. The one variation we know is a competitive variation. That's exactly what I'd want out of him anyway. So hey, I'm happy. Uh, we do know he'll be out on the 18th of this month here in June. And unfortunately, he will not be legal for CEO later this month. I myself will be attending, so after seeing this character, it makes me really wish I could try a CEO, but well, whatever it is what it is, I guess. But yeah, looks very cool, very deserving of the character, because if Shang Tsung came out wrong, people would be angry, and hey, he looks like a million bucks on every angle, honestly. So yeah, it's great. Anyways, yeah, so that's my breakdown of the character, and looks great. That's all I can really say. Really looking forward to playing him. So anyways, that's it for this video, so thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Mortal Kombat.